Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Honky Tonk Man, and Greg the Hammer Valentine. This right? is the greatest story on the world. I will not say another word. We're going into our room because we all want to smoke. I was like, oh shit, Brutus, you smoke? Honky Tonk, you smoke? Let's go, fools. Come on, we're going right into this room. Greg the Hammer and Joe Bruce, they just kept walking. I don't know where the fuck they went, but they kept walking. So it's me, Jamie Pickles, and fucking Brutus the Barber and Honky Tonk Man in this fucking room. I'm sitting at a table, I'm rolling it up. They're over there going over, you know, wrestling the rats, they're sitting up, ba bow down, wow, and all this shit. And I hand it, Jamie hits it, hands it to Honky Tonk, hits it. I'm like, damn, he really did hit it. I'm watching to see if they inhale. Brutus the Barber hits it. I'm like, all right, cool, we're all smoking. It goes back around, and somehow Shotgun came up. Then shotgun is when you put it in your mouth and blow the smoke in somebody else's mouth. And I'm, I'm talking. I, I said I wouldn't say that, but it, it's very much like kissing if you don't know. <laughs> it's very, it looks very much like. And I'm like, oh shit. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking honky tonk, man. And I turn around, and this motherfucker, Brutus the Barber, is right here. <laughs> and continues to smoke me out. Like, I mean, it was just a cloud. And when, it, when that cloud cleared, all he saw was this. Damn. <laughs> I think he camelotted you. He's and I look, I was like, hey, Jamie, this motherfucker left me in the room as soon as he saw Brutus and Barber going to give motherfuckers shotguns him and Pickles like, death. So it was me, if he tried Brutus to kiss the Barber, me, and the fucking honky-tonk man. And I'm taking shotguns to the face by these old white men who really, I didn't give a shit who they were at that point. We were just all people in a room smoking weed. And it, uh, the most, it was a fucking horror story. And I immediately, you I got out of the room after I figured out like, okay, I think they're gonna take off like shirts or something. I don't know where this is going. So I left out of the room and I ran down the hallway and I seen the door was open. I was like, bloom, and I ran in there. And it was fucking Joe Bruce and Greg the Hammer Valentine fucking hammered i walked into that room I'm and like, i just hey. remember him replaying the it was you versus ricky the dragon steamboat picture it wrestlemania no nah, man that you was a different standing room standing or something there. i, like, I go in there and greg on? the hammer's like this no and he's telling him the story and he's like and Joe Bruce is just sitting with his hands on his head. I'm like, hey, man, I don't know what could happen. I think Bruce's barber just tried to kiss me on the face. And he like, he tried to blow smoke in my eyes and take the, so nobody could see it, but I think he came in for the real thing. And Joe Bruce was like, hey, man, I am way too in a bad place for this. I can't handle this shit right now. And Greg the Hammer Valentine leaned over, threw up all over the floor. And man, I just laughed. I don't fuck wrestlers no more. Yep. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yes. So. Anything like that ever happened to y'all? Yeah. <laughs> he was pissed at me. He didn't talk to me for like a week. He's like, man, if you ever leave me in a room with some wrestlers, I don't know man. ever again. I was like, you were cool. You guys were all shotgun. He said, say shotgun again. Say pistol. <laughs> I slapped the shit out of everybody. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs>